Hey everyone and welcome back to another organization video. Today we are finally tackling the laundry room and I am so excited to be sharing this with you all. It is long overdue but it was well worth the wait because everything is organized, functional, and aesthetically pleasing. So I am super happy to share the process with you all and just like in all other of my previous organization videos I will be using my Cricut machine to create personalized labels to make everything look cohesive. So thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video and and let's go ahead and get started because we have a lot to do. Before we get started with this project, here is a before shot of what everything looked like. To some of you, this may not be like a complete disaster, but someone who is OCD like myself thinks that there's a much better way to organize this or at least have it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing yet functional. So that's exactly what we're going to try to achieve in today's video. I want to clear off the countertops and just make everything more minimal. We will also be installing a shelf to display some products. So the first thing I am going to do is empty out all of these cabinets so I can start with a clean slate. Watching this over is a little mind blowing just seeing how many items can be stuffed in such a small space because the laundry room is not really a big room yet it held so much and obviously I do a lot of cleaning and my whole channel revolves around cleaning and organization so I have maybe more product than your average person because I do like to try new products every once in a while to try and keep burnout at bay because it does kind of excite me even though it's weird to like you know try new scents or new products test them out and also share it with you guys so yeah you might see I have a little bit more than your average person or maybe I don't. You let me know whether you think this is more than the regular person should have or if this is completely normal. But like I said I have been switching over to free and clear products or just simply things that don't have too much of a fragrance or maybe no fragrance at all if possible. Initially, I began this project thinking I'd be able to tackle it all in one day, but as the video goes on, you will notice that this was a labor of multiple days. It took much longer than I anticipated or would have liked, but I should have known that because even though it's a tiny space, there was a lot jam-packed in here, and there was going to be a ton of projects involved within this small space, so it did take quite a while. And I know this can be a little intimidating or part of the reason why some people put off organizing because 
Um, you do have to make an investment of time to get these things done. And then some people just tend to get overwhelmed. I honestly started getting overwhelmed when I began pulling out all of the products and placing them out here into our mudroom area. I even had to bring the basket over into the living room and things just started spilling over into the kitchen and slowly but surely it took over pretty much all of the main areas with things all around. And it was driving me a little bit crazy, so I did as much as I could the first day and decided to just take breaks as needed. But now that everything is finally out of the cabinets, it's time to wipe them down. And once I do that, I will be putting down some shelf liner. I went with the clear one this time around because I didn't want to see it, especially because you guys will see I will use a little bit of a darker color bin, so I didn't want it to stand out as much. So that's what I'm going to do now, just wiping everything and placing the liners down. You got me tripping ever since I saw you. I went slipping, didn't even know you. Couldn't even breathe without you. Cabinets are all nice and clean and the shelf liner is installed so now it's time to get the containers that I had purchased for this project. They have been sitting up here for quite a while now so I'm going to take them down and while I was up here I noticed that there was a lot of dust sitting on top of these cabinets and the baseboard or not the baseboard the crown molding so I'm going to go ahead and vacuum this all up and wipe it down so that it's nice and clean. We are who we are. Free, just be yourself. 
Another question that I have seen regarding organization is people asking when should you buy containers? Do you buy them beforehand or do you buy them after the fact? Honestly, this is up to personal preference because you can do either way. Usually I like to start with a plan. I am more of a visual person, so I like to sketch it out and then go from there, move things around on paper, figure out what I want the finished product to look like. And then from everything that I do have in the space that I am working on, if I have things that can be categorized or that are already aesthetically pleasing that I want to display, then I can go ahead and get either clear bins or just figure out a way to organize um, what I do have in a good looking way that's also very functional. In this case, I have just pretty much an assortment of things and I have microfiber cloths and cleaning cloths that are not all the same color. And so to make that cohesive, I decided to go with these translucent black um, bins. I got these at Target. They were very reasonably priced. They were in the bath section and I think these just fit perfectly here. I also had some surplus um, bins from Ikea that I had just bought previously. Since I have been organizing all around my house I don't mind buying the bins ahead of time and then if I don't use them in this particular space I know I will find a use for them in a different area so that's what ended up happening here with the white IKEA bins I use them in this space and I also had another one that was left over from the pantry organization room I would say the only downfall to buying them ahead of time is that you might have to store them away and depending on when it is that you finally get to your project it might end up creating more clutter than you already do have and in my case again I had them over on top of the cabinets so they were not in the way but at the same time if I didn't have that space they would have just been piled up somewhere taking up the space and maybe in that scenario it would have just been better to buy it after the fact once I was for sure getting ready to do the project and had everything sorted out and I knew exactly how many bins of each I did need because like in this project you will see I was I think two bins short so I ended up having to go back to Target and pick up a couple more. But yeah, I don't think there's really a right or wrong way to organize. You just do whatever works for you and whatever is easiest for you and go with it. <laughs> So now that I have all of my bins situated, I'm simply going around and filling them up with the designated item. And I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy this part of the process. Besides the label making, this might just be my favorite part, the decanting and just putting things in a bin and making it all come together and just look cohesive. It just, I don't know, there's just something so relaxing about it. Let me know down in the comments if you are like me or what is your favorite part of organizing. And if you do not like organizing, let me know why you find it hard or dislike doing so. I really find it interesting because to me, it just comes naturally. And so it's interesting seeing what other people think about the whole organization process. Some people think it's completely unnecessary and honestly, it may totally be but I just think it makes a big difference not only aesthetically but it also saves so much time looking for things so I really really love it
longer stem dusters I'm going to actually hang on the back of the door so I'm using some command hooks to um, put them here and I will try to link as many of the products that I use down in the description box so if you like anything or are interested in anything make sure you open that box up and just check it out I might have the link for it there and if I missed it by any means go ahead and leave me a comment and I will do my very best to help you out And now it is time to do some more relaxing decanting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. And for the bins here, the ones with the black top, I got these at Target a while ago though. They were in the dollar sections in Target as soon as you walk in. And the other bins that have the white lid, those are actually pitchers. They were in the kitchen section and I just figured they would be a good way to pour like all of the detergent and liquid stuff because I've seen other people use the big jugs that have the spout at the bottom but I was afraid to use those because I do own some and they do tend to leak and because laundry detergent is so thick and Clorox and all of that I didn't want to run the risk of it pouring out and just creating a big huge mess so I thought these would be a good alternative to that and they turned out amazing as you will see here in a little bit but yeah again I will try to link everything below in case you are interested. Still remember when you walked into the room. Think I knew right then that it was always you. Something in your eyes, it was all so true. Step I took, they all led to you. We were young and running free. We were never meant to be, but I could not see you go. Cause of you, don't wanna waste another minute without you. And I will love. For those of you who might be on a tight budget, I also just wanted to mention that you can upcycle these canisters from the scent beads. They actually look really good and it, you could even paint the lid black if you wanted to go for that look or keep it as is. As you can see here, simply removing the label makes a huge difference and you can definitely use these. If you just hold on. And this contraption here, my dad actually made this custom for me and I thought it was just beautiful because I was looking for something like this on the market that was wooden and white and could hold all the dryer sheets. I had this in my brain and I talked to him about it and since he loves working with wood and just creating cute little projects, he did this for me. And if you guys like this, leave a comment down below because I am trying to convince my father to open up an Etsy shop and sell his woodwork because he's just really good at it. So yeah, if you are interested in one, let me know and I will get the word over to him and see if I can convince him. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. <laughs> Oh,
And now we're moving on to the next project, which is to measure for our shelf and get to cutting it so that we can paint and install. Like I mentioned earlier, my dad loves working with wood, so I know a little thing or two about it. And yes, my husband is sitting here watching me cut this, but I just wanted to do the simple cuts and later on he's going to be doing the little bit more complex ones. So yeah, I told him I wanted to do this part of it. But yeah, just in case you're wondering why he's just sitting here letting me do this, I pretty much asked him to do so. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. Now that the shelf is cut, we just wanted to double check that it would fit and that the cut was made right. But I will not get to paint it until the next day. But for now, I'm going to just finish off a little bit more of the organization and then we'll come back to paint this shelf. I want to be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'm going to be the best damn lover you got. I want to mess up your covers. This drawer here tends to be our little catch-all area. As you can see, it just has an assortment of random things that we just have thrown in here. So it is time to finally organize this in a better fashion. So now I'm going to be using the small acrylic bins, the same ones that I had used in my bathroom organization video. If you missed that, I will link it down below. But yeah, these come in very handy. They're very shallow, but um, come in different sizes. I think it's in total four different sizes and you can just accommodate them to your drawer use as many or as little as you do need so that's what I will be doing right now you're like 
like a ghost in my mind I can't escape you I need to believe it was right Letting you go Cause you are like a ghost in my mind I wanna escape you But I do not believe it was right Letting you go I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Cause every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me of you and it breaks my heart You're still here though we're apart I'm seeing your face in my dreams I can't escape you Like a movie on repeat The scenes just go on I'm hearing your voice in my dreams I wanna escape you I really think I made a big mistake I want you to know I can't stand the thought of losing you Tell me, do you think of me too? Every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you go Cause every song just reminds me of you and it breaks my heart You're still here though we're apart Don't tell me it's over Tell me it's over now Don't tell me it's over now Don't tell me it's over Cause every song just reminds me Of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake Letting you Every song just reminds me of you and it kills me No, it was a mistake I am now going to take some glass spray bottles and fill them up with different types of cleaners as well as label the bottles I wanted to escape for a while Thought that a couple of drinks could ease my mind I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight I know that I need to get myself back in the game Someone said your name had a ton of room Suddenly you're there standing in the crowd Everything comes back in the blink of an eye It's like you're mine, you're still mine They skip the small talk cause you know me better than I Myself on my spit a while now since I saw you, but it feels like yesterday somehow. Time has stopped, nothing's changed. We're the same, and we skip the small talk. Cause you know me, yeah, you know me like nobody else. Yeah. 
It is now the next day and we're back outside so I can paint the shelf and a little fact about me, I hate to paint. Like I can have the patience to do other things, but painting is not one of them. I guess because it could get very messy very quickly and this is just something I don't enjoy. So I tried to avoid it at all costs, but I did need to do a little bit of painting for this project. But let me know down below if you like painting. I know a lot of people find it relaxing. I just personally rather not do it. But yeah, let me know. I'm curious to find out. Stopped, nothing's changed. Sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we Drifting away from each other, didn't want to let you go oh, oh, oh. Cause we wanted different things and I have to deal with it But it's not easy, so tell me how to let go Cause you really seem to know how to carry on on your own Ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to Take it to the next level Cause I wanted that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there But you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track Of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go So there was a little bit of editing magic to get these projects done a little bit quicker because it's already taking a long time. And now that all of that painting is out of the way, I am taking inventory of all of our bottles and all of the products so that I can get to making the labels and putting them on. Met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by, I couldn't get him off my mind. Now that I know which labels I need to make, I am going to pull out my new machine from Cricut. So once again, thank you for sponsoring today's video. And this is the new Cricut Explore 3. If you have been with me for a while, you know that this is not my very first one. I have a black and white one, which is the Explore Air 2. But I was super excited to try this new model out and I instantly fell in love with all of the new features. These compartments for the crafting tools is one of them. So this model accurately cuts 100 plus materials, including everything from iron-on, vinyl, and paper to specialty materials like glitter paper, cork, and bonded fabric, all of which, or most of which, I have already used in my previous videos. I have done projects with iron-on, as you might have seen in my last video right before this one. I have done so many projects, so it is very much worth the investment to get one of these machines. I personally got my first Cricut machine about a year ago for my birthday that was my present from my husband and ever since I've been using it to make so many custom creations and now with this new model it has the ability to draw and score using a scoring stylus so there's so many more possibilities available from personal gifting to personalization and home decor and with the holidays coming up, if you have any crafters in your family, this would be the perfect gift because the possibilities are truly endless. And aside from that, it's also super easy to set up and use, which allows all DIYers and makers to get up and running with projects quickly. And also with the Cricut Design Space available on desktop and mobile, you can use either device and design and make from anywhere quickly and easily. And I also really enjoy the fact that this new machine is much faster. I think it's over 50 
50% faster than the previous models. And now you can use smart paper. So instead of having to fuss with the mats, if you've used a Cricut machine, you would typically use a mat that kind of has like a glue or sticky surface to it. And you would adhere your um, material of choice to it and then feed it through the machine. But this one, you can actually just feed the paper straight in if you're using the smart materials. And this just saves a lot of time. And also you can do bigger projects because these rolls do come in bigger sizes. And yeah, so I really enjoyed using my new machine and I would highly recommend it to anyone. So I will leave all of the details down below in the description box, the link to this particular machine. I actually already have so many ideas in mind to use my Cricut machine for Christmas and decorating for that. I used my old machine last year to create a tree. And so I plan on taking advantage of this new one and just creating many more personalized crafts. So if you want to see all of that, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on all the future crafts that I will be making with this machine because this will definitely not be the last time you see it in use as I love to do the organization and it's part of all of my labeling and personalization needs. And yeah, if you're interested, have been thinking about maybe looking into a Cricut machine, this might be the perfect one for you. So I will leave all of the details down below and thank you once again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. To describe you now As I'm lying next to you And the world goes quiet Wish that I could make you see How you fit me perfectly And I fall, fall for you again We've been through it all the one who understands In a world where hope grows thin You've completed me all done with the black vinyl label so now moving on to the white one I will be using this to create the rest of the labels as well as a decor piece later on in the video These labels I printed off on waterproof paper and also used the Cricut to cut it and I will leave the link down to these below. I also made these for my pantry and other spaces in my home so that everything looks nice and cohesive. I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how am I? There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm healing. Yeah. I feel higher than the ceiling All because of you You and I were so sweet, so sweet Talking till we asleep, asleep Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love, yeah Cause you really get me, get me Make me fall to my knees, my knees Every night I fall deep, fall deep
I could honestly sit here and watch this Cricut machine do its job for a while because it's just so satisfying to see how it feeds in the paper and does such amazing work. But yeah, we're getting to the end of this video and I will show you guys a tour of how everything turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy it and please let me know down in the comments what other videos you guys would like to see. And thank you so much for watching. I will add music to the rest of this video. So I hope you enjoy and thank you so much for being here if you're still watching watching this and staying with me for the entirety of this video. I know this was a pretty long one, but I truly appreciate you being here. But yeah, leave this video a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, you really get me, get me, make me fall in my